So hey guys, fans of the Samsung's Fan Edition phones will be delighted to hear that a Galaxy S23 FE is on the way. While the Samsung Galaxy S22 FE had to be cancelled in order for its components to be used in the much more profitable Galaxy S22 Ultra units, now it appears that the Korean company has organized its stock more properly this time around. Samsung began the Fan Edition series with the Galaxy S20 FE in 2020. The phone became one of the best smartphones of 2020. It brought to the table most of the flagship features and design at a cheaper price than the real flagship phones. Moreover, it was launched right between the Galaxy S20 and S21 series. People seemed to like this and this led to it become one of the most popular smartphones of the year. Unfortunately, the story was different for the Galaxy S21 FE. It was released just one month before the Galaxy S22 series, making it look old in just one month. This was due to Galaxy S22 being priced the same as the Galaxy S21 FE. The Galaxy S22 was simply superior in every way, as a result the Galaxy S21 FE failed. Now that Samsung has dropped the S22 FE, the company will launch the Galaxy S23 FE to make things right. As per rumors, the S23 FE will initially be produced in 3 million units by the company. However, based on Samsung's track record, we should see the Galaxy S23 FE in a few months. Now the question is, which CPU will be used by the S23 FE? Given that Samsung has chosen a Snapdragon CPU for the other S-series phones, it is obvious that the S23 FE will also use a Snapdragon chip. Previously, the news suggests that it might come with the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 CPU, but now report says that it might come with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU. Since the Galaxy S20 FE and S21 FE both use the same chipset as the Galaxy S20 and S21 respectively. Unfortunately, at present we do not know anything official about the pricing of the Galaxy S23 FE, but its price should be around the same as the last year's Galaxy S21 FE. So what do you think about this S23 FE? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.